an avocado monster. Her and her brother just love avocado. But this cream is a good cream to make for when you've got any Mexican dishes. Do you want to help me make it? OK, can we put the avocado in here first? So one avocado. Check. And we've got cashews. It's only half a cup of cashews and I've soaked them. You, can only, you don't have to soak them. If you've got a high-speed blender like I do, you don't have to soak them at all. It makes it creamier. So we'll put the cashews in there. Yeah, I want it. Oh, OK. Then you can put the... Cor Actually, we'll put the coriander in last. Three tablespoons of lime juice or lemon juice, whichever you've got on hand. And we've got half a teaspoon of salt, of any salt that's good. And half a cup of water. You go, girl. There's half a cup of chopped coriander. I'm going to put some of the coriander in there already. Mm -mm -mm. We'll wait for the rest, because I think it's nice to have some of those deliciousness in there without them being all blended up. So we'll blend that until it's all creamy. So if it's very thick, you can just add a little bit of water just to make it a little runnier. OK, and that's really creamy and, and smooth. But now I'm going to add the last few coriander leaves so that they're more whole and just blend them through a touch. That's it. So there you have it. You have a nice avocado guacamole cream, which you can use on sandwiches, which you could use on any Mexican dish. We're going to use this with our enchiladas, our baked enchiladas. You can find the recipe on thetabletv.com. And you can also go to our Facebook page, which is The Table TV Show, and you'll find some, some of our recipes on there. We have some really good healthy recipes for you and your family. We try to make healthy easy. So please follow us and enjoy all the different recipes.